Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How to become a U.S. Marshal? To embark on the journey to become a U.S. Marshal, you need to meet several stringent requirements and follow a detailed process. Citizenship and age. First, you must be a United States citizen and be between the ages of 21 and 36. However, if you are a U.S. veteran or currently employed in law enforcement, you may be eligible for an age waiver. Education. You need to have a bachelor's degree from an accredited college or university, preferably in a field related to law enforcement, such as criminal justice, criminology, or a similar discipline. Alternatively, you can have at least one year of graduate level education or specialized experience equivalent to the GL5 level which includes work in criminal investigations and law enforcement duties. Physical and medical requirements. You must pass a pre-employment medical evaluation, including vision and hearing tests, and meet specific medical standards. Certain conditions like orthopedic issues, hypertension, heart disease, and color vision deficits can be disqualifying. You also need to pass a physical fitness test, which includes a 1.5 mile run, a one minute push-up test, a one-minute sit-up test, and a sit-and-reach test to gauge flexibility. Application and hiring process. To apply, you need to submit your application through the USA Jobs website. After meeting the minimum qualifications, you will be scheduled for an interview, which may involve travel to various locations across the country. If your interview is successful, you will need to pass a fitness test and a drug test before receiving a final offer letter. Background investigation and security clearance you must pass an initial single scope background investigation, SSBI and periodic reinvestigations. Additionally, you need to obtain and maintain a top secret clearance. Training. Once selected, you will attend the United States Marshals Service Training Academy in Glencoe, Georgia for approximately 17.5 weeks. This training includes both physical and educational components, such as court security, defense tactics, driver training, firearms training, and more. You must pass a total of five exams, each requiring a minimum passing score of 70%. Duty and mobility. You must sign a mobility agreement and be willing to be placed in a duty location that meets the needs of the agency. You are required to remain at your initial duty station for a minimum of three years. Additional requirements. You must possess a valid driver's license, qualify in the use of multiple firearms, and be willing to provide sworn statements and testimony in court. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.